In this video, I'll compare the Ryzen 5 5500U with the Ryzen 5 7530U, pointing out what makes them different. Afterward, I'll give a conclusion to help you figure out which one is a better choice. The Ryzen 7530U was released two years after the release of the Ryzen 5500U. Both processors have 8 performance cores and 16 performance threads. The base clock frequency of the Ryzen 5 5500U is 2.1 GHz, while that of the Ryzen 7530U is 2 GHz. Due to its slightly higher base clock frequency, the Ryzen 5500U performs well under normal CPU loads. The boost clock frequency of the Ryzen 5 7530U is 4.5 GHz, whereas the Ryzen 5500U has a boost clock frequency of 4 GHz. Because of its elevated boost clock frequency, the Ryzen 7530U excels under heavy CPU loads. The L1 and L2 cache sizes are the same for both processors, while the L3 cache of the Ryzen 5 7530U is 16 MB, compared to 8 MB for the Ryzen 5500U. Consequently, the Ryzen 5 7530U is better suited for tasks requiring extensive data or featuring sequential access patterns. The Ryzen 7530U supports up to 64GB of RAM, whereas the Ryzen 5500U supports up to 32GB. This suggests that the Ryzen 7530U is better equipped to handle high RAM loads. Both the Ryzen 5500U and Ryzen 7530U support both DDR4 and LPDDR4 RAM modules at the same frequencies of 3200 MHz for DDR4 and 4266 MHz for LPDDR4. Both of these processors support an integrated GPU, namely the Radeon RX Vega 7. However, the boost clock frequency of the GPU in the Ryzen 7530U is higher making it more proficient for graphics-intensive tasks. For critical systems, the Ryzen 7530U outperforms the 5500U because it supports ECC. Both processors have a PCI version of 3, but the Ryzen 7530U supports a higher number of PCI devices due to its support for more PCI lanes. The peak temperature supported by the Ryzen 5500U is higher than that of the Ryzen 7530U therefore, the Ryzen 5500U can withstand higher temperatures. The TDP of the 5500U is configurable, ranging from 10 to 25 Watt, whereas the TDP of the 7530U is fixed at 15 Watt. If you prioritize low power consumption and silent operation, the 15 Watt option is a good choice. However, if you need flexibility in performance and power consumption, the 12 to 25 Watt option offers greater control. Now let's look at benchmarks comparison. According to Cinebench R23 and Geekbench V6 for both multi-core and single-core this Ryzen 7530U seems to be better than Ryzen 5500U. Ultimately, the optimal method to select the most suitable processor for your needs is to scrutinize their specifications and performance benchmarks, taking into account your budget and specific usage patterns. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel and press bell icon to never miss any update.